Breakthroughs in addiction research have happened again and again and again, and most people don't know that they exist. I'm a history nerd. I love history, I love mysticism. Mysticism is, is revealing the things that are hidden, and if you go back in time, you will find these snippets, these moments in time where we had breakthroughs, but they didn't fit, just like the title of my workshop, didn't fit. And so, I'm gonna go back in time to the very beginning. A lot of people don't know that the very first treatment center in the United States, the very first addiction treatment center called the Keeley Institute in the 1890s that started, actually used plant medicine. And there were, uh, fast forward within a few years, there were hundreds of Keeley Institutes. It was called the Gold Cure. And it was back in the old snake oil kind of thing. So a lot of people that do research, they think it's kind of BS. And a lot of the medical establishment at the time did. There's actually the, the first Keeley Institute is about an hour outside of Chicago. The building still exists and you would walk in the door and you would get injections of a bicolor, uh, like uh, this weird thing called the Gold Cure. It didn't have gold but it likely had things like atropine and henbane, which is witch's brew. It had dissociative or deliriant psychedelics within them. They didn't use the term psychedelic because it hadn't been invented yet. But, and a lot of people, and, and fast forward, there's 100 clinics by the early 1900s, 100 clinics, and they had treated approximately a half a million people. But the medical establishment looked at people like this as snake oil salesmen. It's all BS, it's garbage, because the, the, the challenge that we in the psychedelic space face is that traditional recovery has about a 5% success rate, and yet they falsely believe that they have a 100% success rate. That if you fail at it, it's because not the system failed, but because you failed. 